get in whatsoever is spoken of in this um in this sense right in this sense it will be get wisdom it's something that you that you have to acquire get there means to acquire it means to obtain it means to receive right you know some people say well wisdom and understanding you know um that is for the pastors and them right um the pastors and them know the bible them supposed to know the bible and that is mm. that is not my job that is yeah. their job yeah. no the bible is saying it is for all men it is appointed for all men more or less god commands all men to be saved and to understand his word amen. so he's saying to get wisdom and to get understanding amen amen you know and I, and I love that and i love that word there um if you look at if you look at the scripture there again um proverbs chapter 4 and verses 5 yes. you will see the last thing that, that the wise man solomon um in in in, in, in verses um chapter 4 and mm -hmm. verses and uh, um yeah well i anyway i don't want to go back there because i was about to go and show you verses 4 you know keep my commandment and live yeah. you know and, and but i verses four you know where he said he taught me also and said unto me let thine heart yeah. let thine heart retain my words Amen. let thine heart retain my words that is in verses four right yeah. keep my commandments and live and i love that live there you know i love that live there it speaks about eternal life it speaks to live eternally Amen. You know, um, but um, I don't want to go back there. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. So, Pastor Michelle, praise the Lord. We're going to look at Proverbs chapter 8, verses 4 to 10. So, I hope that you have your Bibles. It's, it's Proverbs chapter 8, um, verses 4 to 10. Yes. Proverbs chapter 8, verses 4 to 10. Proverbs 8, verses 4 to 10. Proverbs chapter 8, verses 4 to 10. And the Proverbs chapter 8, verses 4 to 10, the Bible reads here, Unto ye, O man, unto ye, O man, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men, of man. O is simple, and O is simple, and I, I love that. O is simple, understand wisdom. O is simple, understand wisdom. And he fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Yeah. So even the very fool, you know, um, even the very fool, the wise man is um, Solomon is saying, be of an understanding, um, be of an understanding heart. He said, hear, for I will speak of the excellent things. And he's talking about inspiration from God. So yeah. Pastor Michel said here that God commanded all men to be yeah. saved and understand the word. Yeah. And the, the wise man Solomon here was speaking, we were speaking um, through inspiration yeah. from God. Amen. He would prophesy, you know, the spirit of God would have been upon him. And he was speaking. So he said, here, he said, here for I will speak excellent things. Yeah. And the opening of my lips shall be right things. And right things can only come from God. Because righteousness is from God. Amen. Yes, so he's saying, I am going to speak right things. So Solomon was not speaking as a man, but he was speaking to the inspiration of God. Verse 7. For my mouth shall speak the truth. And we know when we say truth, truth is only in Christ. Truth is only, Jesus said, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they life. They are, they are right. truth. Praise the name of the Lord. So uh, uh, he said, for my mouth shall speak truth and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. What he's saying here, it is as one who is speaking to the inspiration of God, yeah. I cannot speak abomination. God cannot speak abomination. And because it is God who is speaking to me, I, I will not be able to speak abomination because I am in flu. I am, I am, I, I am being, um, should I use a strong word? That word might be a bit too strong. Um, it's not the word you will want to use, but one may say, I am possessed. I am possessed with, I am possessed with, um, um, God inspiration. But I will, it's better to just use the word inspire. I am inspired. I'm directed. I'm directed by God because possession will give you another connotation, right? Possession is control and yeah. God don't control. Amen. Amen. 
So um, he was inspired and not really possessed. But I use the word possessed to show you how strong, you know, that inspiration would yeah. have been upon the man of God. So he said, all the words of my mouth are in righteousness. He said, there is nothing forward or, forward or perverse in them. There is nothing. And imagine a Solomon speaking here. And Solomon said, there is nothing forward or, or forward or, or perverse yeah. in my words. Amen. He said in verses nine, they are all plain to him yeah. that understand it and write to them that find the knowledge. So they that will open up to understand will understand. Yeah. Those who are seeking after knowledge will find it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. And, and he goes on to say, Receive my instruction and no silver and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. Rather than choice gold. Amen. Um, you know, the Bible teaches that we perish because of a lack of knowledge. Yeah. So a lot of times believers, and you see people perish along the way, they fall along the way, the backslide. It is because um it is because the um is it because of a lack of, of knowledge you know, because the knowledge of god is powerful to keep us now there is a scripture that i would like to quote and that scripture that i would like to quote it is that scripture where the bible teaches you know and paul said it in philippians he said i'm not ashamed of the gospel of christ because it is the power of God unto salvation. That knowledge is a knowledge that will never fail. Amen. In the knowledge of the word of God. The more you um, study and the more you sink yourself in the word of God, it will never fail. So Pastor Saint Ru Pastor um, Michelle, we want to move on unless you have anything right. that you will want to add. I think you covered it all. Praise the Lord. So we are moving on tonight, believers. Men are not to add to or take from the bible in any detail men are not to add to or take from the bible in any detail that is they must take it as it is written so so um um men and, and pastor michelle said there that men are not to add to mm -hmm. or take from the bible in any detail and in any detail Amen. the bible and um, god is serious about adding or taking away from his word so we ought to be so careful of even when we study the bible Amen. we ought to make sure that um we ought to make sure that our yeah is yeah and our Amen. nay is nay Amen. we ought to make sure that it's upon every um line of studies you know in accordance as to say more or less to its context and we must also be able to prove to you that it is in context in the word of God. So we cannot add or we cannot take away. And that yeah. is what you will not see as we continue our studies. Amen. Right? We, um, we will endeavor in every way not to add or not to take away, but to make sure that we bring to your understanding the unadulterated word of God. And when I say unadulterated word, I simply mean um, word, the word that which is not watered down. Amen, amen. That which is not watered down, but it's pure. It, you know, it's pure. So Pastor Michel would have given us a script here. Yeah? Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 2 to 6. Um, um, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 2 to 6. And she's looking at men and not to add or take from the Bible in any detail. That is... They must take it as it is written. Amen. They must take it as it is written. So let us look at Pastor Michel would have sent us to Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses um, 2 to 6. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 2 to 6. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 2 to 6. If you um, praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. And it's okay for you to put a thumbs up if you want. That is no problem, right? You can feel free to do that. So Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 2 to 6. Um, we are reading from verses 2. And the Bible reads, Ye shall not do what? Add unto the word which I command you. You Amen. shall not add unto the word which I command you, 
neither shall he diminish out from it. Neither shall you diminish out, or the Bible, you see the Greek, the Hebrew there, said out from it, that he may keep the commandments of the Lord, your God, Amen. which I commanded you. So I want you to look at that again. And you're not supposed to add to it, neither take away from it. No add or, or, or into it or no taking away from it. The Bible goes on to say in verses 3, your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of because of Baal Pura, for all the men that followed Baal Pura, the Lord thy God had destroyed them from among you. Why? Baal Pura would have been um, adding and taking away from the word of God. In other words, he would have been leading the people in um, according to his own thoughts and how he feel about um, what um, God would have said. You know, um, and um, God said that all the men who followed him, all the men who followed him was destroyed. Why? Because God is very serious about people adding or taking away from his word. Amen. Verses 4 said, But he that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive every day of you, every one of you, sorry, this day. So when the Lord, the Bible said, they... Um, um, that of cleave to their God, it means those who stayed with him. Those who stayed with him. Um, those who stayed with him. Now, um, one, when one studied that and see the destruction of Bialpura and, um, and, uh, uh, and, 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 and his followers, you will see in contrast to the destruction of 24,000 um, um um, the rest of Israel would have been preserved, but um, over uh, at thousands of, of, of persons who follow him would have dead. And that is um, something for you to look up, for you to study, right? Um, so, the, so, so the Bible reads, uh, behold, I have taught you, and we are in verses 5, because we are reading up to what, Pastor Michel? Six. Up to 6. So we are in verses 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Even as the Lord my God commanded me, even as the Lord my God Amen. commanded me, that he should do so in the land where he go to possess it. So Moses is saying, Listen, I've taught you. I taught you start you. I taught you judgment, not Amen. in accordance to my direction, not in accordance to what I think Amen. or what I feel. But the statue and the judgment that I commanded you, I give to you, it would have been that which the Lord would have commanded of me. Amen. Amen. So he said, the Lord commanded me that he should do so in the land whether he go to possess it. So what he's saying, it is all the word that God inspired me to write to you. Mm -hmm. He said, all those words are words that is, uh, that is able to keep you. Amen. Words that are able to sustain you. Words that are able to protect you, yes, you know, um, that, that are able to protect you, amen. you know, um, in verse six, and I'm uh, in verse six, you know, and before I go there, you know, um, there is one scripture that the Bible teaches that God sent his word and he healed their diseases. Amen. So the very amen. word of word of God is able to heal you, but you have to take the word of God as it is. Amen. amen. You don't water it down. You don't add to it. You don't amen. take away from it. So as we go along, as we continue the study, we want to apply those principles of um, making sure that we take the word of God as it is and we don't add to it or we don't take from it. Look at verse 6. Look at verse 6. He goes on to say, keep therefore and do them. And, and I want you to look at that. Keep therefore and do them. Pastor Michel, praise the name of the Lord. Um, you, you, you know, you, 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 you say that man ought not to add or take from the word of God. Amen. He says, keep therefore and do them. For Amen. this is your, your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statues and say, surely this great nation is a wise 
and understanding people. Yeah. So it means if you want to find favor, even in the eyes of men, you have to continue to apply the word of God. You have to continue to keep the word of God. You don't, you don't move from them to the left, neither do you move from them to the right. But you ought to keep them. You ought to apply them to your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. You know, um, praise the name of the Lord. Pastor Michel, we can, you know, go on. I love that, um, um, that the wisdom, you know, this is in, in verse 6, where it said, this is your wisdom and your understanding. Your wisdom and your understanding. It simply means that in, 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 in the, my God, in, in every in every facet, in every facet of life, in every facet of life. Look, look at it again. This is your wisdom. It means the word that came from God Amen. to me, Moses, that I give to you. He said, this is your wisdom and your understanding. It means in every facet, in every facet of life, whether physically, mentally, spiritually, supernaturally, Amen. supernaturally, militarily, ma materially, and even governmentally, and even governmentally, we will see that when Israel was obeying God, they were so far above other nations, and there was no, and there was no, and there was no, and um, uh, 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 defeat among the children of Israel. There was also no comparison. There were no comparison. This is the reason why the Lord told Israel, "This is your wisdom." And your understanding, and, yes, and you look at verse yes. six again. He said, and and, and 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 he said, which shall say that is other nations. He said they shall say. He said, and which shall hear all these statues and say, and what they will say? Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Why? Yes. Because because and um, the, the 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 wisdom of God, which is in His word, they accept it. Yeah, and the under, they understand, they open up themselves to understanding. understanding. We encourage you to open yourself to understanding. We encourage you to open yourself to wisdom. But you know something? The Bible also teaches that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Yeah, so true. first of all, if you really fear God, you will not add his words, neither will you take away from his word. Amen. amen Praise amen, the Lord. Amen. Pastor Michel, bless the Lord. And this is why, oh, Bishop, hallelujah. This is why Bishop, Father, you know, we thank you. Um, when we look at preachers and teachers um, that are, I should say, filled under the anointing of God, you know, they don't compromise the word of God at all. Because you see, it is the way, it, 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 I should say, unto salvation. It is the, it is the very, I, I should say, the substance in which my God, God is going to use his words tonight. My God, to bring man, my God, show him his condition, amen, amen. my God, and lead him into that path. My God of total deliverance tonight. Amen. Amen. amen so amen. if we were to water down the words, if we were to, you know, to, to put something, put a blanket over it, and we, we suppress it, and we say, you know, well, God said we are just a sinner's debt, you know, but he understand what you're going through, and he understand the, the condition that you are living in. You know, um, he understand. I mean, we will be held accountable for that. Amen, because amen, the amen. Bible says that the wages, the gift of the wages of sin, the wages of sin is debt. But the gift of God is eternal life. Amen, so, amen, 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 amen. Amen. So for us to come and say, God, understand your condition is for us to encourage you in your condition. And we amen. will be held. Your blood will be upon our, our, our shoulders. Amen, we don't amen. want that. <laughs> amen. 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 So, 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 so you don't, and as we continue to teach yeah. and we continue to look at deep things, you know, we will want you to. We will want you to be just open in spirit as we continue to look at deep things. Pastor Michel, you want to give us another scripture? Deuteronomy scripted? chapter 12 and verse 16. Now, now remember that Pastor Michel said that God commanded all men to be saved and to understand the word. But you went on to say that a man are not to add or to or take from the word any detail. That is, nope. they must take it as it is written. Amen. Yes, so amen. She'll, she she give you another scripture there. And Pastor Mitchell, could you quote that scripture again? Deuteronomy chapter 12 and verses 32. Deuteronomy chapter 12 yeah. and verses 32. Deuteronomy chapter 12 and verses 32. Praise the Lord. Um, Deuteronomy 12 and verses 32. Um, uh, praise the name of the Lord. I know it's you, you have it. I hope that you have your Bibles with you. Um, and as I said, you can always share the link. 
feel free to share the link with whomsoever you want to share the link to be a part of your Bible studies. So we are looking at Deuteronomy chapter 12 and verses 32. And the Bible reads there, what thing soever I command you. Yeah. And, and and what thing, and, and, and you see, it's not Moses speaking here about God, amen. Because Moses, Moses is not the person who's doing the commanding there, amen. So Moses, um, God is speaking to the prophet Moses, and he said, what thing soever I command you, observe to do it. Thou shall not add unto, nor diminish from it. Amen. So God is speaking to the prophet, and God is saying, listen to me, the things whatsoever I commanded um, you, to, he's talking to the people through the prophet. Yeah. The thing that I, I commanded you, he said, observe to do it. First of all, observe to do it. Yes. Right? Thou shall not add thereto, nor diminish from it. I hope that you have your Bibles. I hope that the children is there and the children is um, studying with us because I know it's in the home. I hope that the family is studying um, as we continue to study the word of God. So you are seeing the prophet of God speaking through the inspiration of God, commanding the turn of God to make sure that the things that God commanded them, God was saying, observe to do it, and the thou, and thou shalt not add it thereto, nor diminish from it. Which simply means, that diminish there mean to take away. Amen. That diminish Amen. there mean to Amen. subtract. Amen. You know, sometimes people subtract things that they believe to themselves, you know, um, that um, it, it, it is things that that um, I'm not sure about, or I don't feel I should say that, or I don't feel that um, it make I don't feel um, it making too much sense. Is not what is not your logical um, thinking. It's not your philosophical reasoning. God reason is not your philosophical reason. I'm just drawing a reference, right? Um, you. Um, you, you, the Bible teaches, you know, that um, healing is God's children bread and by his stripes will heal and that sort of thing. But um, you may hear someone who's sick and the doctor said that they will die, you know, and you, because of your philosophical reasoning and the condition of the person, you, you lean in more um, to, uh, to believe that they will die because of their condition. But God is bigger than um, their condition. God is bigger than that infirmity, you know, and the, our reasoning must not be philosophical reasoning, but our reasoning must be faith in God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So Pastor Michelle. We want to look at Revelation chapter 22, verses 18 to 19. So Revelation chapter 22, verses 18 to 19. Revelation 22, verses 8 and 19, we are still looking at men ought not to add to or take from the Bible in any detail. Yes. That is, they must take it as it is written, as it is written. And that is what we will be um, doing as we go along these studies. So we are looking at um, Revelation chapter 22 from verses 18 and 19. Amen. And I know that you have it. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, in church, I, just, or I, just, I will tell you to say amen. You know, but um, I, 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 I may still say that. When I tell you to say amen, just give me a thumb. Right? You can just click on the thumb and I will see that you are saying amen. Um, verses 18 said, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. And the, and 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 the, and and John is saying here that he testify unto every man. Now remember, John is speaking to the influence of the anointing. Okay, yeah. he said, "For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book." He said, "If any man shall add unto this these things, God shall add unto him plagues." that are plagues that are written in this book. So he's saying that God is going to add yeah, unto him amen, plagues amen. that are written in the book if he add to it. And listen to me, somebody. I fear God. <laughs> I fear God. I see the kind of plagues that God allowed to come upon man for yeah. disobeying God. I have no intention of going through that kind of experience. No. So um, it's a clear, you know, that we ought not, as John said, you know, um, to add 
to, to add to, 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 to. Now in verses nine, he said, and if any man shall do what? Take away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. So it will not be saved because if your name is out of the book of life, you can be in church and you are not saved because you have your own ideas. Yes. You are walking in your own righteousness. Amen. Amen. So John is saying here, he said, God shall take away his part out of the book of life yes. and out of the holy city. So he will not have that opportunity to go into that holy city yes. and from the things which are written in this book. It means all the blessings of eternal life, all the blessings of, of, of walking in the streets of gold yes. and enjoying Amen. the walls of pearls and, and, and bathing in the crystal sea. Mm. You know, all the blessings of, of, of being with God and the, no more sorrow, no pain and all these blessings right will be taken away from that man and um, john is speaking to people who know to do right and yeah. do it and do, and do it wrong the bible teaches that that person shall be beaten with many swords yeah yeah that's right yeah. and you know bishop that you know people tend to take that scriptures only for the preachers no it's not only for the preachers it's for all believers tonight amen amen now if you look if you look up, Pastor Mitchell, if you look at the other verse Amen. that follows um, verses 19, which is verses 20. Look at the verse that follows verses 19, which is verses 20. And and, 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 and look at what that verse is saying. He which testified these things said, surely I will. Come quickly. I come quickly. Amen. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. That is where they say people say Maranatha. Come, Lord Jesus, come. So what we are seeing it is this verse, it follow the um that verse. And now that plagues there that the Bible talk about, um, the plagues are those of eternal hell, as well as many other kinds. As referred to in also um, um, as refers to in in in, 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 in um in, in Revelation nine and twenty. If you look at Revelation nine and twenty, come on, let us look at some of these plagues we are talking about. Revelation nine and twenty. Um, come on, look at Revelation nine and twenty. I want to run with it, you know, but I have to I have to make sure that we understand. So we are looking at the plagues that the Bible made mention of. Look at Revelation nine and twenty. Revelation nine and twenty. The Bible read here, and the rest of the men which were not killed by those plagues yet repent not for the works of their hands, that they should not worship the devil, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. So those are the plagues, and I want you to look at it here. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues. So when the Bible said that these plagues will come upon you, it means that these plagues will kill you. <clears throat> these plagues are the plagues that the unrighteous, the unjust will experience. If you look at also 15, um, um, that is Revelation 15 and verses 1. We are looking at the Greek meaning or the references for those plagues. So that is what studying is all about. You want to look at references to see what these plagues is all about. You want to get a clearer understanding of what these plagues is all about. So look with me also in Revelations 15 and verses 1. Um, if you have it, it's okay to put up a thumb. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous. Seven angels having the seven last what? Plagues, for in them is filled up with the wrath of God. So those plagues that God said that will come upon a man who will take away from the word of God, yeah. it is the wrath of God that will come upon him. Yeah. And that alone can show you how serious God is with adding to his word or taking away from it. Yeah. Taking away from the word of God 
I want you to understand it renders you, it renders you, my God, evil in the sight of God. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. It renders you evil. So the wrath of God is going to come upon you. Um, um, preachers, man of God, woman of God, um, you believers, each of you ought to be evangelists. You ought not to add to the word of God or take away from it. And that is when, as we are going into our studies, you will see that. Look, look at some these plagues again. Look at verse 6 of, 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 of chapter 15. So I think we may have to stop. The, the, we, we don't want to pause there, but we um, we want to go in just to look at the plague. We just want to look at, finish off looking at these plagues to see the seriousness of adding or taking away from the word of God. So look at, at, at Revelation 15 and verses 6 and 8. Revelation 15, verses 6. And we look also at verses 8. So we're looking at verses 6. And verses 6 said here, And the seventh angel came out of the temple, having seven plagues, clothed in pure and white linen, and having their breasts girded with a golden girdle. So we are seeing here plagues. These are the plagues that is being referred to. Look also at verses 8. Um, look also at verses 8. Look also at verses 8 of Revelation 15. Revelation 15 verses 8. The Bible reads it in verses 8. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God yeah. and from his power. And no man was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. Amen. 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 And when you study that seven plagues, you don't want to, the seven plagues, the kind of beasts, the kind of beasts and the kind of, 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 of creatures that, um, that, 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 that are um, appointed to do these things. Yeah. I want you to know you don't want that to come upon you. So we ought not to, as we study the word of God, we ought not to add to the word of God, nor take away from the word of God. Yeah. Now, if you look also at, at 60, we are just looking at the plagues. We want to close off at plagues. Although we have up to 15 minutes past eight, because we had the 15 minutes, but definitely we, we will finish before that. But we want to look, we're just looking at these plagues and we will mark it off there because of next week we'll want to continue um this um these um simple um reading and believing um with a simple heart you know um which is considered necessary by god to understand his word amen, amen. so we are looking at, at at revelation 16 and verses 21 look at revelation 16 and verses 21 remember we are we are using references here so we are using references in context to be able to explain what those plagues that the Bible teaches will come upon men who will take over from the word of God, what those plagues mean to be in the word of God, what, it, what it's all about. So that is what we are looking at here. So let us look at verses 21. Verses 21 said, And there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent, and men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail. That is to show you how terrible it was. For the plague thereof was exceeding great. Hmm. For the plague thereof was exceeding great. So what you're seeing here, it is those plagues. One, they are, they are like hail. And they are the size of a talent. And they are exceeding great. It means they are they 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 were to be tortured. They 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 um um they 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 I should I say interrogate interrogate is not the word because interrogate is sometimes to just get information from somebody. But those plagues is gonna those plagues is gonna torment men until or for the rest. Of their for the rest of their life because there is something to call eternal life and eternal death. Yeah. Right? Every man will have either eternal life or eternal death. That is scriptural. Eternal death means never ending death. Yeah. So it means also never ending pains and suffering. Right? Um the, the, the last scripture we want to look at for today, it is um Revelations 21 and verses 9. Revelation 21 and verse 9. So we are looking at how terrible these plagues will be 
for those who will take away from the word of God. Be very careful of persons or teachers that adds and take away from the word of God. Yeah. And sometimes we are so become so gullible. We become so gullible that we that we, or we have itching ears. The scripture talk about itching ears. Itching ears is ears that um, uh, attracts anything and not prove the word of God to see if it is really the word or it, it, if it is of God. And not only that, Bishop, itching ears is what you want to hear, what you desire to hear. And it's not what you desire to hear, but what you need to hear. Amen. And Pastor right? Bishop, I love that. Yeah. I love that. When you look up the, the definition of itching ears, yeah. itching ears really is what you what you want to hear. Yeah. You know, what will appease you? What will, what will yeah. make you comfortable? Yeah. What will make you happy? So the bottom line is to say more or less what we see, what have been happening with um, B.L. Pora, right? When you study his, him and his followers, right. that is exactly what was happening. They were looking for things that, not just what Moses said, um, God said, but what is best for the people. Yes. yes. <laughs> but what is best for the people. Now, um, verses 9, um, of verses 9 of, 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 of Revelation chapter 21, verses 9 state, and there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, full of seven last plague, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride and the lamb's wife. So we are seeing here the seven last plague and the when the Bible teaches that they that will take away from the word of God, these plagues will be upon them. These are the plagues that the Bible is talking of. So it's important that we upon on that before we continue to go ahead because we are still looking at the Bible is simple because reading and believing with a simple heart is all God's consider necessary. To understand the Bible, yeah. so that is what we where we that is what we are at. That is where we will be stopping today, and we are stopping here. That men are not to add to or take from the Bible in any detail. That is, they must take it as it is written. Pastor Michel would have given to you. Um, I think Pastor Michel, you touch how many scriptures there? Just we two. Touch just two scriptures. Right. And Bishop, even um, before you move on from that, you know, one of the things that is important for you to take note of is um, you see you have a clear insight here that the same instruction that the church in the wilderness received is the same instruction that the church, a New Testament church, has received as well. It has not changed. The Old Testament speaks and the New Testament say amen. amen. Because we have here in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 2 to 6, the Lord was saying the same thing. We come here in the book of Revelation chapter 22, verses 18 to 19, he's saying the same thing. Amen. So it only goes to show that heaven and earth will pass away, but the king will not change his will. Amen. 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 Pastor Bishop. Amen. Heaven and earth will pass away, but not one jot, nor one tittle of his words would ever pass. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the name of the Amen. Lord. Bishop. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. So believers tonight, praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Tonight, um, I hope that you enjoy um, I hope that you enjoy um, the studies tonight.